Regular family, welcome to a brand new episode of Take Me Places. And I am very honored, flattered and proud yes. to have with me yes. singer, yes. musician, yes. arranger, yes. composer, yes. producer, yes. talent scout, yes. um, gardener. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> a man with Hello. so many talents, yes. a man who has been with Rocksteady Music from the very beginning oh, yes. and through the whole process, yes. a man who has spent 60 years of his life yes. dedicated to reggae music, who has True. been there with, from the very, very beginning, beginning as well, yeah. and um, a man who has, yeah, like dedicated yeah. a lifetime. He's a contribu contributor. Yes. <laughs> contributor, yeah. Contributor. Yeah. The living legend Leroy Sibbles is here with me today. Salute to my people. Yes, yes. How are you, sir? I'm great. I'm feeling good and nice to have you here nice to have you having me to do this yes. I'm, I'm i'm proud <laughs> yes thank you yeah. speaking of where where are we and why did you take me to this place This is my, my residence, you know, and I'm proud to invite you here, you know, and no problem. And um and this we are in Kingston and this area is called Evandale. Yes, you know. So um I, I've moved here, bought this place and arranged it how I want it, you know. Yes, and um I'm good at arranging things, you know. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, man. I make it. I, I've made it as comfortable as I could for myself, you know, and my friends. Cause I, I, from I was a kid, I, I was always a person who think about others. You know, see you guys are coming, and I I pick some fruits and stuff and prepare for your, you know, welcoming and all that. Yeah, that's how I am, you know. Yeah, you know, so this is this is where we are. Yeah, it definitely feels like a very calm and soothing oasis yeah, kind of it place. Is so quiet and nice. Yeah, yeah um, you know, I had Bob Babandi. Yeah, right here, right in this area. You know, just before he passed, mm -hmm. for about two years. Okay. You know, was trying to nurture him and encourage him oh. to get well and all of that. Okay. But I guess when he when when I got him, it was too far gone yeah. to come back, you know. Cause he did some operations and all of them things, and um, he was deteriorating, mm -hmm. you know, which wasn't a good thing. And I I miss him so much. Actually, listen to this. The day he, when Bob and passed, a bird flew on my on my um on my lawn. A, 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 a dove mm -hmm. and was doing the most dance something I've never seen anything like that before she came and she flew and she sat and she was fluffing her tail and she was doing some stuff there that I couldn't I know something was special happening you know I couldn't figure and um because after that I've never seen another bird do stuff yeah. like that and before that I've never yeah, yeah. In, in my presence, yeah. you know that. And about half an hour after, someone called and said, wow. "Baba and Dad passed." Mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, look at that!" Mm -hmm. You know, wow. this was some kind of some form of spiritual sign. Definitely. You know, Definitely. yes, wow. yeah. You know, we used to go to the Bob Marley Beach. You know, he and I, yes. Yeah. You know, and my woman here. You know, we used to meet up at the beach sometimes he came here and we drove together with um alan skill oh, okay. that was next person another great person mm -hmm. you know that um they used to hook up together even before me too you know so i joined that trio selection you know <laughs> yeah we had a good time oh, so 
you know, before he passed, I know he, he had, we, we, used to, we used to feed him some good food that he loved it. And yeah, my woman here is a great cook, you know, really good cook. Um, when are you leaving? In about uh, two weeks. About two weeks? Mm -hmm. Right. So we, we could arrange a, a little food, you know, thing, you know. Wow. Yeah, we oh, could do that. Wow. She loves to cook. She, she's a good cook, so she loves to cook for people. We could do that, you know. So we keep in touch and arrange oh, that yeah. too, right? Definitely, definitely. Yes. Oh, yes. That sounds really wonderful. And in this, in this very city that we're in, this is where you basically also started your life? Yes. Down in Trenchtown, Let me right? I believe this. Before we go there, next door me. Yeah. I invited Marcia Griffiths to come here and she said, Lee, don't you remember I was living next door? He used to come and visit me next door here. Oh, okay, wow. I didn't even remember that. She said, yes, me and Babande was living right next door here. So it, it's like a, a musical oh, kind of yeah, place. place. Yeah. You know what I mean? It has its, um, it, it, its history of music. Oh, you know, then I said, oh my God, I, I can't even remember. Yeah. I remember I used to visit them, but I didn't realize that it was right here. Yeah, and here I come, yeah. you know, and establish right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I think, you see, th things happen for a reason, yes, right? Life it is must so be a, the spirit of the place. So yeah. Far. It's like a full circle, yeah. you know? She was right next door, and I come set myself right here, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. So that that was something else. Yes. Um, so I was always a city a city youth. I was born in Kingston, born in Trenchtown. You know, I was telling your husband to exactly where. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's a, a area where that, that they call Ghost Town. Mm -hmm. That um, eventually, uh, oh, first it was called New Land Town. Okay. N e w land, mm -hmm. yeah, like a new land, yeah. And then I'm, 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 I'm here, right here, and this is called Highland. Yeah. <laughs> the progression makes yeah, sense, you know? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so, you know, the Lord has a way of doing, you know, yeah, wonderful things, mystical things, thing, yeah. yeah. You know, so, um, Newland Town, Trench Town, right now it's called Jungle. Mm -hmm. You know, originally Concrete Jungle, you know. Yeah, so... I grew up in that area. I was actually born on West Road and 13th Street, between 12 and 13th Street, you know. Yeah, my my dad, he, he owned, um, he, 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 when I got conscious enough to see what was happening, you know, like around four, five, six, around in that age, I remember my father had, um, uh, he, he used to drive um, ice trucks, mm -hmm. you know, you know, deliver ice mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. people, and he established a union with them people. He was very um, a progressive person too, you know, a smart guy, you know. Okay. Oh yeah, owned his own trucks and all of them things. He, he, he transitioned into a lot of different things, you know. So I, I, I guess that's how I got so multi-talented to me myself. Mm -hmm. You know, these are stuff from my dad. Yeah, but um, in Trenchtown, I, my mom and my dad separated when I was very young. Mm -hmm. So my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother, we were on the Trenchtown, um, Ghost Town, Trenchtown side. My 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 dad was in that area too, but he moved out, you know, and moved to to the. Um, another area um, called Waterhouse area, mm -hmm. you know, and um, so I, I, I had the best of um, two set of families. I, I would be over here a few months, so back to my dad, that woman. Okay. but I, I, I love um, being with the ladies though. My, yeah, I was pampered and, oh, you know, and all of that. Yeah, my, yeah my, my, my dad was a, a bit too tense, you know, too harsh, you know. My um, my great grandmother was called Miss Emmeline. My grandmother was Estelin Prince. <laughs> uh, my my oh my my great grandmother was Emmeline Williams. My um, 
My mother, Mavis Brown, uh, my grandmother, Estelin Prince, <laughs> you know. But these ladies I, I grew up with. And, um, Did you have any siblings as well? Yeah, after a while, my I got two other brothers, you know, on my mom's side. Yeah, there's a lot of um, kids on my father's side. But on my mother's, mother's side, I have one brother called Kirk Bailey, Carlton Bailey, you know, two brothers. Yeah, Carlton is still in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Kirk, he came back home. Now, on my father's side, I have like well, four sisters, you know, and one brother, you know, and they're in, in America, in the oh, States. Okay. Now, I'm planning on bringing my dad home right now to come spend the rest of his life right here with me, you know? Okay. Yeah, I'm planning to sit with him outside in the mornings where we sit and we talk and, you know, keep his company until, you know, that time, yeah. you know, for him to travel on yeah, man, man. to the higher planes, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's on 97 right now. I was just about to ask. Yeah, I know. Oh. You were, yeah, 97. How is he doing? Really good. Okay, really good. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me show you something here. This was taken about two two years or so ago. Wow. That's him there. Wow. Yeah, that's my dad. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, that's my dad. He looks he looks fitter than me. You see? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he's in very good spirits. Yeah, a good health, good health. Yeah. You know, so and my mom is in Canada. Okay. Yeah. My my dad here he, he lives in Queens, Corona. You know, so I'm planning on bringing him home. My mom is 90, wow. you know, and she asks for me every day. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. You know, my, my, my other brothers, they are a little bit jealous because um, oh. all she asks about, Leroy, when I'm going to see Leroy? I, I was just there like a month ago, oh, right? Oh. You know, and yeah. she saw me almost every day. And as I left, me long for see Leroy. <laughs> Where is he? Uh. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, so I have to call her at least every other day. Of course. Yeah, of course. and when I know she's the happiest person, mm -hmm. uh, I, that, that just reminds me um, she need her uh, she need her today's call too. Uh, <laughs> so right after this interview, yeah, you can I give her a call. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know. So yeah, so that's how my setup has been.